March the 24th, 2019. Guys, just a quick uh, video. I'm working on a longer one. I'm going to try to get up later. Just a shout out to our sponsors. They put the one week ammo can food supply at just a little over 50% off. It was $79. Now it's $39, guys. But what we're looking at is if you you notice we put a space weather report and they've been watching this coronal mass ejection that left the sun a few days ago and they were expecting it today and it has just crossed the discover satellite now they cross um, any solar activity crosses the discover and the ace satellite before it gets to earth it's like an early warning system and uh, so we may see some impacts in quakes don't know how strong because Everything's very different this year and really starting last year, but even more this year in the because of this weakening of our shields. So we're seeing impacts that would not normally affect our planet when we had slow or I mean, excuse me, strong uh, magnetic shields. Well, here's what's different in the density, guys. You've got three lines here in the bottom is the temperature of the solar wind. In the middle is the speed of the solar wind, and this is just happening as it's, it's hit the satellites. We, Depending on the speed, we get from a 45-minute or an hour heads up. And it's going to continue through the rise that you see there. Now, it's not that strong, but it is a sudden jump. But here's what's different. Again, in the bottom uh, graph, the green line indicates the temperature, and it always goes hand-in-hand in, hand in lockstep with the speed in other words the solar the higher the solar wind speed just the higher the temperature usually though the density guys will drop it's called the smoke in the wind effect in other words you've got a certain amount of density in in solar wind escaping from a coronal mass ejection and which we're dealing with now and you have it coming from the coronal holes that they're expecting starting in a couple of days. That's the openings on the solar surface that allow a steady stream. But this is a burst that left the sun a few days ago, coronal mass ejection. And normally, again, the smoke and the wind effect is as the solar wind increases, the density decreases because if you've got a fire built and it's smoking up and it's not much wind, a lot, there's a lot of smoke right there in that area. But if you get a lot of wind, it spreads those smoke particles out, thins them out. The density becomes lower. So this has some density in it, unlike when we see just a solar wind in increase from the coronal holes that we see. And again, that's when you see that opening in the sun's canopy. It's like a clear day on the sun. And those magnetic canopies would normally captured that solar wind and we turn it back to the surface of the sun but those openings allow that stream and when they're there are uh opening there's a wide one now that's earth facing when you see that because of the 93 million miles the distance between the earth and the sun or one au it takes a couple of days because it's not traveling at the speed of the coronal mass ejections if they're a high speed burst and guys you can have an x flare um or strong, any kind of strong solar flare, but when you get into the X flares, it becomes more critical. And you have a photon burst. It's not pho not proton, but photon, which is a light particle. And it travels at the speed of light. And you can have an impact on Earth from the flash of a solar f uh, flare on the sun in 8.2 minutes, excuse me. 8.2 minutes 93 million miles and you can have that type of quick impact now this is just supposedly the coronal mass ejection that left the surface of the sun is going to just give us a side sweeping impact and normally i wouldn't do I'd maybe not do a report on this one at this speed but the speed could increase and again the density is up it should be down and our shields are weak now, let me say this. I'm working on another video. I'm not sure if I can get it up tonight. I'm going to do my best. And we're going to have some, let's just say, some comet activity in June. It's going to be something we need to pay attention to, guys. It's a heads up. Be safe.